Okay, welcome back, everybody. Frank Calabro Jr. here. We're going to continue on with your training in the email marketing series. I think we're going to call this video uh, Email Marketing Tactics Part 2. This is actually going to follow up uh, the whiteboard uh, training video that you that you watched. And uh, don't skip any of this training, guys. Make sure you're going in order and watch these videos start to finish because this is critically important, guys. Critically important. And I'm showing you guys, you know, how I got... Uh, over 1,700 personal signups last year in 2014, okay? Now, I'm on my backup computer over here. So uh, what we want to do here, and here's what I did. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did and how I taught myself uh, how to communicate with my list, how to uh, create subject lines, how to create uh, copy. We call copy the email itself. How did I do this? How did I train myself to do this? It was actually, here's what I did, and I'm giving you guys the steps I told you guys to get on about 15 people's uh, email list, okay? Get on about 15 people's email list, okay? And I want you to study their emails, okay? We're going to go over this in just a moment. I'm going to show you some stuff. We're going to study their emails, and we're going to look for some things, guys, and we're going to, we're gonna, uh, you know, get organized with this stuff. Now, first thing you want to do, go ahead and right-click on, uh, on your computer and just create a new folder on your desktop, okay? And you can just call it, we'll call it sales copy. 2015 okay something real simple like that and then right click again and then let's let's set up a text document and we'll call this uh, subject lines subject lines 2015 okay or whatever you want to call it now we can we can just slide that into the folder right there okay we open up the folder and then we got our let me change the view here. Yeah, we got our, our, our blank text document right there. Let's go ahead and minimize that mess. Okay, so now we got a place where we could store things and get organized with our, you know, with our subject lines and our sales copy. Now, let me show you some of the stuff I got on this computer. I got two computers here side by side. What do I got on this computer? Guys, I collect stuff like you can't even believe. Let me go over here and click on this folder, Quotes. Now, I also, I, I write a lot of quotes. I, I write a lot of stuff, my own original stuff, but I also grab a lot of stuff. And um, I just stick all kind of stuff inside this folder, uh, stuff that I write, stuff that other people write, and I just stick it in here. Um, and, these you know, these can be subject lines, you know what I'm saying? The reason I'm showing you this is, you know, this is kind of stuff that um, that I do post on Facebook. I do email this stuff. And but I also do use uh, I've used a lot of this stuff uh, for subject lines, or I've gotten ideas for subject lines. And look, look how long this is, guys. Because I've been this 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 has been uh, open for um, I've been collecting this stuff for a while, guys. Probably a couple of years. But this is just one. This is just one place that I store stuff, and I usually just put quotes in here. Usually just put quotes in this particular document, but I also have a lot of subject lines and a lot of you know, good stuff in here as far as sales copy. Okay. So I just want to show you some of these and you see, you see, notice how I got that right on my desktop. It's so I can open up and get to it very fast because I use this stuff all the time. Now let's see, I got a folder right here, sales copy. I got all kinds of stuff I stuck in here. I don't even know what the heck's in here. Let me look. This is a letter I sent out on the 13th or on the, the 9th. I got maps, copy, maps, more copy. Um, all kinds of stuff here solo ad copy so whatever a lot of times I'll date a letter I'll date it if I uh, if I like the letter and, and this is a lot of this stuff is just crazy stuff I post on Facebook but there's also a lot of subject lines there's a lot of subject lines in here that I have used and I continue you know sometimes I'll look at this stuff to get ideas but listen guys once you start doing this for a few weeks or a couple months the ideas are just going to flow right out of you. I don't even look at this stuff anymore, but once in a while. I mean, once in a while, I'll come over here and look at this stuff. I'll look at these subject lines, and these are just maps, subject lines, and stuff that I've been using or I have used. But the thing is, once you start doing this after a while, it's going to become like breathing. Like, you're going to know what to say as soon as you open up your, your um, you know, you open up to create a uh, uh, an email to contact your list. You're going to know what to say. 
I get up in the middle of the night sometimes, guys. I know I've got it bad. <laughs> and I write stuff down that I think of because I'm dreaming about this stuff because this is all I do. I live this stuff, guys. I live marketing. It's, it's an addiction to me. I just can't get enough of it. But I do. Sometimes I'm taking a shower and I think of things, guys. Things will just pop into my head. A lot of times when I get away from my computer, you know what I'm saying? I get away from my computer and, you know, whether, you know, I go work out or I go down to the park or whatever, I'm, or I'm driving in town running errands, that's when I get really creative, too. I just, when you get away from the computer, you can get very creative. Keep a notebook with you or a clipboard and a pen as you think of things Write things down because you're going to think of things. You're going to see maybe a billboard or maybe a business that's got to sign up. You're going to get ideas. You know, once you live this marketing stuff, you live, you know, advertising, promoting. That's what that's what marketing is. Marketing is selling, advertising and promoting. That's what marketing is. But you'll start getting out more and more and more ideas, guys. You'll get more and more creative as you as you, uh, you know, you progress and you go forward and refine your skills. But, um, you know, just open up a folder and you guys can start collecting subject lines. Now, let's go over to my email and let's just click on something. Uh, this is something I created. I think I'm going to send this out to my list tomorrow. And let's just look at this. Okay. Now, if you're not on my list, get on my list, guys. You can come over here to googlemillionaire.com. You're probably already on my list. But get on my list. You don't have to join my offers, guys. You'd be crazy not to join my offer. But you don't have to join my offer. You get on my list just to study my ad copy, okay, so you can learn from me. I'm good at this stuff, guys. I'm really good at this stuff. You know, 1,700 signups proves that I'm pretty good at this stuff. Now, where was I? I'm sorry. But go ahead and look at my subject lines. Some of my subject lines are good. Some are not that great, guys. It all depends. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on a lot of stuff, you know. Um, but here's one. Yup, yet another 4K cash paycheck, okay? Is that a great subject line? I don't know, guys. I don't know. That's what I thought of. It was natural for me. That's what I wrote down. Okay? And then open up, and um, I got a screenshot where I got a $4,000 uh, uh, paycheck, and uh, this was actually done today, and uh, I'm sharing this with my list. Okay? And then I got a, a, a short little uh, ad copy. Let's just read this together real quick. Warning. Now, sometimes I'll put a, you know, hello, or you guys know I say what? What do I say? Greetings, rock star, right? Greetings, entrepreneur. That's what I always say. I usually say one of the two. And then, uh, let's see here. Uh, warning, you are, gonna, you are going to drown in proof or drown in money hang, hanging around me. You're going to drown in proof or drown in money hanging around me. Another 4K in cash. Made that in a week. So basically what I'm doing is doing bullet points, guys. I'm not even doing like full sentences, just bullet points. And listen, your letters do not have to be long, guys. Matter of fact, keep them as short, short as possible. People don't have time to read some long thing. They scan, read, scan, read from left to right. So keep your lines, your ad copy nice and short so they can read fast, okay? And then what I, what I put in here, uh, most people would love to make this in a month. And then I just put down watch or participate. So I'm making people think. I'm messing with their minds. Not really messing with their minds, but, you know, I'm just throwing some words in there. And then I got a clickable link. Okay, this is our call to action. You have to say click here. You actually have to say that, guys. Okay? And team up. Uh, click here and team up with the next internet millionaire now. Okay? And then I've got six spaces. Refuse to lose. Then I got my name. Oh, I'm I'm also putting this in here. Just temporarily because they're I, I was nominated for the top internet marketers direct selling poll, and I'm just putting this on here. This is a call to action too. I normally don't put two call to actions. We talked about this in other videos. I normally don't do this, but uh there is a second call to action here. I'm asking people to vote for me, but uh this is only going to be on here for temporarily, you know, because this thing's going to end uh in a couple weeks this uh this survey thing. but anyway. And that's the letter, guys. So you guys can look look at this. Is it a good example? I don't know. It's probably pretty good. You know, I'll get a sign up. I guarantee you I'll get a sign up from this letter. Like I said, I get a sign up every single time I send out an email. Either someone joins my Four Corners business, someone joins my Maps business, or somebody joins Power Lead System. Every single time I send out an email, I get a sign up. Minimum of one. At least one. Every single time, guys. So I'm living proof this stuff works, guys, okay? Now, let's look at another one. Let's see. Here's another uh, uh, email. And like I said, you want to do this 
like you know, if you got 15 people on your on your uh I told you to get on 15 people's email list, look at their subject lines. Now, let's just say for example, you like the subject line, which it's not great. It's probably pretty terrible. Perception sells, only proof progress and results. Okay, but just say for example, we did like that for some crazy reason. Well, what we do is we go over to our subject line notepad that we created, control victor, and we're going to save that. Okay? You can also write in here, or type in here, subject lines that you create yourself, things that you think of, okay? That's the purpose of this, of this folder, to collect this stuff so you can start getting in the habit of creating your own original stuff. But you know what? You can swipe my stuff word for word. Guys, if you like the, my stuff, you can grab this word for word and use it and email it to your list, okay? If you like this letter, if you like this for some reason, I don't care, grab it word for word. Take my name out of here, take my information out of here, and put your stuff in there. You know, come over, create a new a, a new text document, open that bad boy up. Control Victor, paste it in there. You can name it, whatever you want to name it, then slide it in that folder we just created, and then you can go ahead and edit it right here. Of course, you can take your name out of there. You know, you can use my closing or use your own original closing, you know what I'm saying? The link's already gone, so now you can cop, you can customize this, okay? Then you can you can use this, okay? If you want to use my stuff word for word, go. I don't care, guys. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. This is called swiping, swipe file, okay? This is a swipe file, and um, it's also a part of distribution. We've talked about the distribution network. We've talked about building a distribution network. I got no problem with you guys taking my copy. You know, all the top marketers do the same thing. Clay Montgomery will tell you, take my copy, edit my copy, and pass it on to your people. Uh, Simon Stepsis will say the same thing. Take my copy, edit my copy, and pass it on to your people. It's about distribution, guys. We're teaching you guys how to build a distribution network. We're teaching you how to build your own email list and create your own following, guys. I can't collect up everybody in the world, okay? There's no way I can do it by myself, guys. There's millions of people, millions and millions of people uh, globally that want to learn how to make money online. And guess what, guys? We know how to do it. We know how to do it. Okay. Now, enough of that. But you can do that, guys. You can swipe my email, swipe my subject lines. And then, you know, if you like this, this particular, um, you can save this and you can slide this right into your folder right there, okay? You can name this letter, whatever you want to whatever you want to name it. So we've got our subject line folder in here, okay, subject lines. And then we can start putting ad copy in there. Also, you know, ad copy is what? Is the actual body of the email that we like. Okay, let's go back over to this email and then same thing, same format, you know, uh, greetings, rock star. What am I saying here? Happy hump day uh, with seven days, with seven days into the new year. The excitement level is high. I don't know, a bunch of gibberish. What am I talking about here? I should, it should be high because what we do works. We prove it daily and day out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, I've got a call to action and then. I close out. I close out my email. And then I put the image on the bottom this time, okay? I got an image on the bottom, okay? And then a bunch of white space. We talked about this. White space. And that's just a typical example of an email, okay? And if you guys like this, you guys grab it. Put it in your folder and save it. Now, we can go ahead over here to uh, this AWeber account. We can look at some other stuff. Let's go over here and look at some more subject lines so you guys can get more, uh, you know, get, get some more ideas and see what's going on. And I've talked about this before in other videos. I've connected this AWeber account, this AWeber, I've connected it to Power Lead System, okay? These two accounts are connected together. I opened this account out up after I opened up this Power Lead System account, okay? And I'm going to teach you guys this advanced, it's going to be called Advanced Power Lead System or Advanced PLS is another course that I'll be making this year sometime. And I'm going to teach all the advanced people, you know, uh, this this uh, this email um, list building tactic. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys this kind of stuff uh, and why I did this and and all the benefits to connecting these things, these two things together. I'm going to teach you guys a lot of cool stuff. But anyhow, I, I connected these two accounts together. You can see. Let me click over here, contacts. I'll show you guys. I think there's what nine thousand people, or maybe ten thousand. I'm not really sure. 
But the emails, you can see this 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 list is not big, guys. It's only seventy four hundred people, seventy four thirty two. And why is this being so slow? That's unusual. Usually you click on something at Power Lead System, it's instant. It could be my computer, guys. I don't know. It could be my internet speed. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. You guys can see over here, 2.49 a.m. Yes, that is the real time. Frank, you ain't been asleep yet. I'll be up for a couple more hours. But anyway, for whatever reason, it's not going to show that. But I wanted to show you the numbers are about the same. Uh, I think there's maybe 9,000, maybe 10,000 people in PLS. And we've got 7,400 in here. So I've connected these two things together. Now, you don't need a huge email list, guys, to make a ton of money, okay? Now, I've got another email list, AWeber, but I'm not going to show you that account. But this list right here, I'll tell you something right now. If somebody offered me $250,000 cash, I mean cash, they had the cash in their hand, okay? They're standing right in front of me. They said, Frankie, I'll, I want to buy this email list from you, only 7,400 subscribers, and I'm going to give you 250000 cash. You know what I do? I turn it down. You better believe I turn it down, guys. This list is worth a fortune. A fortune, guys. I'm telling you, you know, with this list eventually, it's going, it's going to make me millions of dollars, guys. I mean millions and millions. And when I get this list up to, say, 50000 60000 70000 when I get this list up that high or even higher, over 100,000 subscribers on this list, I'm just talking about this list. And this list is for my blueprint. You guys know that. My blueprint my blueprint project is why I'm building this particular list. And, um, yeah, you can see over here there's 9,500 people, okay? But anyhow, um, the point I'm trying to make is you don't need to have, like, you know, 100,000 subscribers or 50,000 subscribers to make a whole bunch of money, guys. You don't need, you know, you get you, you you can build a small list and, you know, make a lot of money off that list if you treat it right, okay? All right, I don't want to get off subject with that. Um, but let's look at some of, some of my subject lines just so you can see some of the, uh, you know, some of the, the better subject lines, you know what I'm saying? And um, some of the ones that, you know, were, you know, more responsive and that kind of thing. Man, you know what it is? It's this computer I'm using, guys. I normally don't use this computer to make videos. This is my older computer, and it's very, it's very slow because I'm I'm draining the resources, um, running this um, the software to make the videos, and that's why uh, it's not. I don't think it's the internet speed at all. It's the computer. I shouldn't make videos on this computer anymore. I normally don't, but I just happened to be on this computer, so I plugged in. Uh, just turned on the camera started talking all right but we'll give it a second here and uh we'll talk about i want to talk about some subject lines and you can see i got some stuff scheduled for tomorrow right now you can see i've got an email scheduled for 9 20 a.m one for 1 p.m and one for 9 15 p.m okay now you don't have to contact your list three times a day like i do you can contact your list once a day once a day is sufficient and once you guys get further into my training You'll learn why I do this, okay? You'll see why I'm doing this. This is actually, uh, and I'll just tell you this real briefly while we're waiting. This is actually to promote the um, the uh, Four Corners offer, which I do in the morning. And then this is a training, a training. I'm giving away a training in the afternoon. It's a free training. It's a class. And then this is for the MAPS offer later in the night. And you'll, you'll understand all this once you get deeper into the training. Man, this is just insane. Is this ever going to load? Man, I got to stop doing videos on this computer. All right, let's just give it a second, guys. Hopefully, I wanted to show you a bunch of subject lines. I don't think I got any more emails that we can talk about. No, I don't have anything in here. I don't have anything in here right now. I've got a bunch of unanswered emails again. I can't keep up with this stuff, guys. The emails, the Facebook messages. <laughs> you check this out. One day... I spent seven hours, no, no kidding, I spent, I think it was the week I was looking for a house, I was house hunting, and I really couldn't keep up with my emails and my Facebook message for about three, four, five days, it was just ridiculous, I, could, I couldn't keep up with it, guys, and I finally sat down, I think it was a Saturday, and I was on my, on my computer for seven straight hours answering emails 
and Facebook messages. Seven hours, guys. Man, it, and, you know, I just vowed I'd never let it get away from me like that again. Um, <laughs> because if you let it get away, man, it's like it's it's almost impossible to get it caught back up. Okay, are we ever going to get this thing to... Okay, finally. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the open rate numbers just so we can... We're going to scroll down a little bit. And you can see uh, real TV behind the scenes. I wasn't going to share this. That, that was a pretty good subject line. 622 uh, two people opened up that uh, that one. Um, you know, some of these are better than the others. Uh, Miracle six figures last year, seven figures this year. That wasn't so good. Only 498 people opened that up. New video. People like the word new and they like the word video. Email marketing training series. I've given away a training. So they like that email. See that? Uh, 743 people opened up that email. I really want to expand this. Okay, let's see if it's gonna, my computer's going to cooperate. Uh, 100% commitment, your time to shine. They really didn't care for that subject line. Bad news. Bad news. 597 opens there. Open, see the unbelievable team results in only 90 days. That's a decent open rate, I guess. The best thing to put in a subject line, I'm trying to find a good example, is what's in it for them. What's in it for them? Like, you know, um, how are they going to benefit from opening up this email? That's the, that's the thing you got to master, guys. This one was pretty good. A lot of people opened up this one. Accolades, uh, a special thanks to those who doubted me. Okay? That was kind of, that's kind of a, um, I wouldn't call that a negative subject line, but it sort of is. But they like that for some reason. A lot of people opened up that particular email. 775 people opened up that email. Uh, new video, what's next? Uh, you know, you can see. Now check this one out. This one, it could have been. This one could have been from because uh, it was around New Year's time. They didn't. They didn't like this. Well, not. They didn't like it. I don't know what day of the week this was. What time it was? It, it says right here the 31st. Yeah. That morning, they just didn't get a lot of opens that day. People were getting ready to party, I guess, for New Year's or something. Just not a lot of, uh, just not a lot of people opened up that email. But then a lot of people opened up one on the thirtieth. Six hundred eighty people, uh, twenty fifteen. You and me, let's dominate live event tonight. Okay, just looking at more subject lines. Now check this one out, guys. This one is a terrible uh, open rate on this one. And notice something here. Could you please do me a huge Christmas holiday favor? I'm asking my list to do something for me. And they didn't like that because only 322 people opened it. Now, there wasn't a, a trackable link in there, so don't, don't pay attention to that one click. The link in there wasn't trackable. I didn't, I didn't track the link. I, I didn't insert a hyperlink into the email, but there was a link at the bottom that someone clicked on underneath my signature. But you notice how when I'm asking for something, the, the, uh, the open rate was very low because I was asking for something. But if you give something, if you give something, the open rate is much higher. Uh, here's one blast off new money making website going to the moon. Okay, so I was telling people, well, hey, there's something in here, there's a website, whatever. So like, they, they, I guess they like that one. Look at the open rate. You know, and I'm just showing you some more subject lines, you guys can read these. Um, Get your motor running. Roadmap to success. So this subject line, I'm actually giving something. I'm giving them a roadmap to success. I'm giving them some directions to success. And you can see, you know, almost 700 people open that up. So see the difference between when you ask for something and when you give something? You know what I'm saying? Here I am asking for something. Three, only 322 people open up the email. And here, you know, I give something away and 700 people double, you know, open up the email. So, you know, take notes on that one. You know, and if you're on my email list, you get these emails all the time. And listen, just, you know, just don't study my stuff. Look at other people's emails. That's why I want you guys to get on, you know, about 15 people's lists so you can see the differences and you'll see different words that stand out, you know, action words. And, you know, just ask yourself this. When you read someone's subject line, just say to yourself, would I open up this email or not normally? I mean, you should open up anyway to study it, but you know, would you open up the email? Yes or no? Would you open it up? Okay. What's in it for you? Think about it. Think about that. When you read the subject line, what is in it for me? Cause that's all people want. What's in it for me? You know, why should I open up this email? Why should I stop what I'm doing and read your message? Okay. That's what you got to be thinking when you create this. 
Okay. Uh, here's one. Solutions. They like this one. Solutions. An entrepreneur, an entrepreneur creates their own economy. You know, 691 opens. They liked that subject line. Okay. Uh, this one they didn't like so much. Definition of savvy. Spend 18 bucks to make, I don't know, they didn't like it, you know. So maybe that's probably a terrible, you know, because then again, I was asking for 18 bucks. You see what I'm getting at? Spend 18. So I was telling my list, hey, you got to spend 18 bucks. I probably shouldn't have worded this a different way or not put that in there or just came up with a totally different subject line completely because they really didn't like this one. You know, the open rate, 460, not, not a lot of people opened up that rate or, or that email. Okay. And then, you know, they, anytime you get like updates and stuff, they kind of let, they kind of like open up all that stuff. Um, they kind of like all that stuff, new and videos and stuff like that and reviews, you know, they like that kind of stuff. Uh, proof video, cash proof, you know, they kind of like that. Uh, new town, the word new, you see how you, I would use the word new in there twice, new town, new money, three minute video inside. So I was telling people in advance, look, this is only a three minute video. So pretty high, real, really high open. Uh, a lot of people opened up that email, almost 700 people opened up that email uh, with that subject line. So let's see. Okay. Just going to scroll down and just, just glance at a few more. So you got, I think you guys are getting the picture now where all you really got to do is start creating your own subject lines. But when you first start off, just look at other people's stuff, look at other people's stuff and swipe their stuff, borrow my stuff. I don't care guys, you know, and, and but eventually, eventually you want to create your own stuff. Okay. All right. Enough of all that. <clears throat> Let me look at my notes and make sure I did not forget anything. Okay. What you guys want to do on want to recap, you want to read about 15 emails per day. Okay. We want to uh, study and swipe the subject lines. Okay. You want to begin to write your own subject lines. Most definitely in your, you know, inside your, um, where is it? The, um, right here, the uh, subject line, uh, uh, text document that we created. Start typing your own stuff in here. Start coming up with ideas and, you know, you start building yourself a list and it won't take you long. Like I said, I'm telling you a couple weeks, couple months of doing this, you are going to be a pro at this stuff. It's not going to take long. Some of you guys are going to be better than me at this stuff. I'm telling you, you're going to get really good, really, really good at this. Uh, let's see, begin to write your own subject lines. You want to study and swipe the sales copy that you like. You want to begin and create your own sales copy. Okay. Your emails do not have to be long, obviously short, People scan, read, get to the point, you know, and just, you know, the whole purpose of that email, the whole pers purpose of the email is to get people to do something, okay? Your call to action, okay? You say whatever it is that you want to say to get people to click on that link, your call to action, okay? Now, you want to be original eventually, okay? You can swipe my stuff. You can swipe other people's stuff, whatever, guys. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's distribution, and getting the word out there, there's nothing wrong with that. But eventually, you do want to be original, guys. You want to be original. You want to use your own words. You want to have your own personality and that kind of thing worked into your emails, okay? So work on that. And, and that will just happen over a period of time. You'll develop that over a period of time. And once you've done this for a little while, like I said, it's going to be like breathing. You're going to know what to say. I mean, as soon as you open it up, open up your, you know, to compose a letter, uh, to send to your list, you're going to know what to say, guys. You might have a screenshot. You just took a proof screenshot. You might have a proof video. You might have some type of training you want to share. I mean, you're going to know what to say. It's not going to take long. You're going to know what to say. And if you don't know what to say, just grab my emails every day. Eventually, you're going to figure this stuff out, okay? And, you know, most important, just be yourself, okay? Because people want to know about you. They want to know about you. They want to learn about you, okay? If they're working with you, if they're working with you, they, obviously they like you, number one, okay? And you know what? They want to learn more about you, okay? So just be yourself. Real, real simple, guys. You know, my, my stuff is as real as it gets, guys. It doesn't get more real. I don't edit nothing, guys. I don't edit my videos. I don't edit anything. I make mistakes, I say the wrong thing, it stays in the video, whatever, you know. Uh, so that's it, guys. Let's uh, let's close this video out. I think you guys uh, have a very good um, um, uh, uh, plan here and, a, you know, a good format to follow by just getting on 15 people's emails list 
and start creating your own subject lines and just study the stuff, guys. Just study it. Become a good student, okay? You got to be a serious student, all right? The people that make the most money in any profession, they've be, they're, they're the best students. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter what it is, guys. In sports, in academics, and in business, the people that are the best students, the people that um, work the hardest, okay? And it's not the people that have the most talent, guys. Some people have natural talent. Yes, natural talent. But it's the people that work the hardest, okay, that work the hardest, always rise to the top, guys, in everything. I don't care what it is. All right, guys, I think I chewed your ears off enough. Let's wrap up this video. I'll see you guys in the next training. Thank you, everybody.